My name is Robin Neidert, and I am the president of the Women's Microfinance Initiative. WMI is very pleased to partner with DFW to increase economic opportunities for impoverished women in rural East Africa. We are a village-level loan program serving poor women in remote areas of Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania. Using WMI's loan funds and business training, village women start small enterprises and use their income to improve the living standards for everyone in their household. DFW's grant means WMI will be able to provide an additional 320 rural women with a lifeline to support themselves and their families. We thought the best way to introduce DFW members to WMI's work is with a video of the ladies in rural East Africa who are the backbone of the loan program. Why are these women in rural Uganda so happy? They have just graduated from the microloan program operated by the Women's Microfinance Initiative, known as WMI. These women have used their loans to start successful businesses. Now they have enough profit to feed their families, send their children to school, obtain better health care, and still have money left over to expand their businesses. The standard of living in their households has improved dramatically. Each year, hundreds of village women graduate from the WMI loan program. They hold an annual ceremony in January where friends, family, and community leaders gather to honor their enormous achievement. Local leaders give speeches to congratulate them. Borrowers testify about their business success and about the loan program's 100% repayment rate. WMI members sing songs of praise for the loan program that has helped them build a road out of poverty. WMI was started in 2008 by professional women in the Washington, D.C. area. Since then, WMI has issued thousands of loans to impoverished women in hundreds of small villages throughout East Africa. Each year, WMI board members, interns, and volunteers travel at their own expense to help celebrate the women's success. They have the honor of handing out prizes to loan group members who are the best savers and who set an example for the other women in the village. WMI founder Robin Neidert always has an encouraging word for these rural businesswomen who have worked so hard to climb out of poverty. The WMI concept is unique. It is a five-step program that takes a woman from poverty to financial autonomy by providing low interest, no collateral, no deposit loans of successively larger amounts over a two-year period. The women join support groups with different color designations and cross-guarantee the loans of the other 20 members. Support groups meet regularly and provide women a comfortable environment to discuss business issues and problems they may have. Another innovative component is WMI's structure. There are no credit officers and no centralized bank offices. The loan program hubs are operated by local women's groups that are composed of borrowers. The borrowers run the entire program, preparing the funds, issuing the loans, and maintaining all of the records. Each Sunday, they gather at the WMI building to sort loan program documents and keep their filing up to date. The women take responsibility for operating the loan program and are vested in its success. Under the leadership of Olive Wulemba, WMI's local director, each village hub location has learned how to manage a loan program. After two years in the WMI loan program, borrowers can move on to loans issued by a local bank. Olive and her staff met with bank executives in Kampala to negotiate the Transition to Independent Banking program. Back in Biobo, Olive explained the terms of the bank agreement to WMI's pioneer members. 
The bank-issued loan is 100% guaranteed by WMI for one year. Then the women graduate to independent banking. Because they have had time to develop successful businesses, they have the ability to provide their own collateral for independent bank loans. Bank officials now come to the WMI building in Biobo to help the ladies open their independent bank accounts. Training is an important part of the WMI loan program. Borrowers who have been through a World Bank Train to Train program orient new borrowers. To reach new village loan groups, trainers travel up to 10 hours a day sometimes down remote dirt roads. Sometimes they pass through the crowded upcountry border crossing from Uganda to Kenya at Busia, where the giant fuel trucks line up to bring petrol over land into Uganda. The new village groups know how much effort it takes to bring the WMI loan program to them and there is always an exuberant welcome when the trainers arrive. The peer-to-peer -peer mentoring the trainers provide is extremely effective. WMI provides calculators and notebooks to borrowers and then shows them how to keep track of business income and expenses. Olive reads each section of the loan agreement carefully to make sure that the women understand it. The loan interest rate will be 10% for the entire term with no additional fees. To emphasize important points, the trainers use visual associations that get the ladies on their feet and moving around. The trainers always get a big send-off and lots of thanks from the new borrowers. The WMI loan program benefits enormously from many interns and volunteers who tutor preschoolers, teach the children songs, <laughs> and read to them from the books in the WMI Children's Library, which were collected by volunteers in the United States. Interns also help with loan program administration, sometimes by counting money for loan issues, sometimes by participating in training. Students from Walt Whitman High School in Bethesda, Maryland, have traveled to Biobo, Uganda to set up an internet cafe with laptops donated by Discovery Communications. Adult volunteers visit new villages to explain the loan program. They help with loan issues and assist in preparing business plans for the ladies. A grant from Boeing Corporation funded face-to-face -face surveys. The data collected documented how the loan program has improved local living standards and provided the basis for a banking manual that serves as a guide for all future borrowers. WMI businesses involve the whole family. Although WMI makes loans to women, it is providing an opportunity for entire families to thrive from their joint efforts. Husbands are very involved in the businesses, and so are the children. Many times, the children's job is to entertain younger siblings. Ninety-five percent of people in developing countries are self-employed. It is frequently the only way poor people can generate income. Maybe someday, the children of WMI borrowers will inherit their mom's businesses and continue to expand them. Children imitate what they see, and the children of borrowers see their parents employed and working hard to make a better life for their families. Running a business is very hard work, plus women have other time-consuming duties, cooking and washing up, collecting water, first you have to get there, then wait in line, before hauling the water all the way back home. With hard work, determination, and family involvement, the women's businesses are prospering and their family living standards are improving dramatically. Ask a WMI borrower about her business and she will smile and speak about it with pride. I started in 2008 and I am now in 500,000. There is no doubt WMI is changing the face of poverty one loan at a time. No more time.
Kanimba, a winter is my destiny.